Hey guys, Zol here, and it has been a hot sec since I've posted a video, and that is because I am entering my last semester as a chemistry major. I wanted to talk a bit about what it's like going into my last semester as a chemistry major, and what are my plans post-graduation. I know a lot of people go into college and they want to be a chemistry major and they want to go into science, but they don't know what they're going to do post-graduation. They don't know the immediate next step. And I'm sort of in that crowd, sort of not, so I kind of want to talk about my plans and we can start a conversation. Leave your comments down below what you did or are planning to do once you graduate in your chemistry major. And with that, let's hop right into the video. So first things first, having now been through the chemistry major, what are my opinions? I think it is a great major, and I honestly think I would be bored in almost any other major. It is really challenging in a lot of different ways, and I absolutely loved it. That being said, I am well aware of some of the downsides of the chemistry major. One, it is one of the hardest majors you can take in college, and two, you really kind of get screwed over in the job market, and it's really hard to do stuff immediately after college with your chemistry major. I have read so much stuff about it. I've read a lot of your guys' comments talking about the difficulty of finding out what to do post-graduation. So I kind of want to talk about my post-graduation plans. Now, first things first, a lot of the stuff people do immediately after college involves applying to grad school, going to grad school, getting their master's PhD, and then it's relatively a lot easier to go get a good job after that. And this is a good path. If you know exactly what you want to do, you know what you want to study in grad school, what you want to specialize in, it is a great path to go into grad school from college. You're kind of, you still got the momentum of being in school to go into grad school, but for me, I've decided, at least for this first uh, couple of years or year after college, to not go to grad school. And I know a lot of people, grad school is just the immediate path they do after one of the hard science majors, and I kind of want to go over my reasons for doing that. The first is grad school is a huge commitment. If you're going into a master's program, it's going to be two to three years, and then the PhD adds even more on top of that. And so you're going to be in your late 20s by the time you graduate from a PhD program, and that's a huge time commitment. And I don't think people realize that. You have to be 100% sure about what you want to study, what you want to go into and specialize in, because going into grad school is a massive monetary and time commitment. And me personally, in chemistry, I know I love the sciences and all, but there are so many different topics I love and so much more to explore in chemistry. I feel like even with a full undergrad education and bachelor's degree in chemistry, I'm not quite ready to make that commitment into a single specialized subject. And I think for a lot of people, they need to slow down a bit and it might suit them to take a year of getting a job and working out in the industry and maybe even seeing if, you know, that job will pay for their master's degree because it's also another massive monetary commitment to go right into grad school. I know PhD programs are paid for, but a lot of master's programs aren't, and master's programs are also a lot less commitment, so it sort of makes sense to go into them, which is kind of my reasoning for not wanting to go directly into grad school. I do want to get a taste of working in the chemistry industry first and applying for those jobs and everything, before I pick some sort of specialization. And the wonderful thing about working in the industry is if you can get one of those good jobs, some jobs will actually go and pay for you to go get your continuing education in graduate school. That being said, I am well aware and I've talked to a lot of people and run into the conundrum of it can be really hard to get a well-paying job right out of a bachelor's degree in chemistry. Now, if you go look at the statistics that the American Chemical Society publishes, chemistry bachelors actually make a pretty decent salary. It is higher than the average. The issue is all of that is after years of experience, and 
For a lot of people, when they're just graduating, the first job they get with no experience is going to have laughably little any like monetary compensation. A lot of these initial jobs after you've just gone through one of the hardest majors and broken your back are paying you such a small amount compared to other things like computer science. That being said, for a lot of people, they love the hard sciences like chemistry and wouldn't have been as happy with computer science. That being said, if you're in it just for the money, I would probably not go into chemistry. Another aspect of taking a job in industry first before you go to grad school is it really boosts your resume, even if you have a good one. Like, I've been in years of research and all, but on top of all the other things, once I actually apply to a grad school, maybe in a year or two down the line, I will also have all that work experience on top of it, and they really like to see that. Over the next few months, I will be going through the chemistry bachelor's job application progress, and I will be probably making a lot of videos and keeping you guys updated on that, because I know for a lot of people who've just graduated or haven't yet graduated, or maybe even those who've already graduated, it'll be interesting to kind of get that window into somebody else's process as they graduate and all, and maybe give you some insight before you get there to maybe prepare yourself for how sending in all your resumes and job applications and how many you have to send in goes. Of course, I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping it isn't as difficult to get a job, but from what I've heard, getting a bachelor's a good job in chemistry can be pretty difficult, but I'm going to be going through that process with you guys and updating you once I finally do get a job, so I really will try to document this post-graduation process to give you guys a full range. I know I've done a lot of videos in the past talking about stuff that happens during your chemistry major in college and all, but this is the end goal of that. Getting your job and going into the sciences is the final end goal, and that's just what I want to do on this channel and show you guys a window into that. So if you guys have any comments, I know this video was a bit more rambly than usual. I just talked about some random grad school, post-grad stuff, but I'm sure a lot of that stuff is on your mind too. If you want to hear more about it, let me know, and if you have your own takes on it in the comments down below, I would love to hear them, and I will try to respond to a lot of them. But with that, I will see you guys next time.